Welcome back everyone, this is Mondo All Day, back with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Deathstrom from the Black Blackest Night Wave, or the Build-A-Figure Wave. As always, we're going to be taking a look at the figure itself in terms of the articulation, sculpture, and paint, and if it's worth your purchase or not. But before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button to not support the channel, but to keep up today and watch videos like this. So, let's take a look at the box. What the front of the box looks like. This side. The back, it's very cool art. The other side, top, and bottom. All right, now let's take a look at the accessories that it comes with. As always, we do come with a card, so this is the front of the card looks like. The back of the card. It does come with a regular stand not much going on in the stand and no accessories for the death storm but it does come with the atrocities build a figure wave so it does come with this very clean looking but very bright lantern right here which i really really like and it does come with a trust this figure so this is the second wave or second part of the build a figure and it does come with his shoulders for atrocities and it does come with the head sculpture of Atrocitus. And again, we won't look into it too much because when I do an overview of Atrocitus, we'll further look into it. But it's the pieces it comes with. Now, let's take a look at a desk from here. And wow, wow, right away. Well, this is a look at that head sculpture. My God, that looks so cool. Tell me that it'll look cool. Come on, tell me that don't look cool. That looks fantastic. So let's take a look at the, the detail, man. First off, just look at that teeth. Looks really, really cool. That sculpture, that paint. I'll see if I can look up close. You guys can see the amount of detail. Come on, my camera, pick it up. Right there, you can kind of see a little bit better now. But look at all the blacks, the whites, the grays, the dark grays. That just looks fantastic. Again, I'm, I'm, the reason I'm showing it so you guys can see for $25, just $25, look at all that detail. Again, I'm a sucker for white eyes. They're not really white. They're like a light blue, but you get the picture. But I got to say, it looks good. That flames look very cool. They are a bit clear, but it's a bit dark, so you can't really see it. But again, a little, a little bit like a light bl blue, a little bit of white blemish to it a little bit. But it looks really, really cool. Just look at all that. Looks fantastic. You can kind of see my hand right there. It's kind of see-through right there, but it looks very cool, man. The sculpture on the head for Deathstroke looks fantastic. Fantastic. The paint job is top-notch, man. Head articulation left and right. It's good. It's feasible. Up, down, not the greatest, but the head sculpture and paint is what really, really, really does a really good job. So there you go. Fantastic job with that. Now let's take a look at the shoulder articulation. It's good. Elbow articulation, very good. Wrist, wow, it's very stiff. So there you go. They do, they do articulate, but in terms of the sculpture on the wrist, I mean the shoulders, clean looking, not much going on with it. Very simple, not much pain on the shoulders, I will admit. A little bit of a kind of a glitter to it right here on his gauntlets right there. See that right there? Kind of a little bit of, kind of um, sparkly in a way. There, you guys can see more right there. Just notice how his arms are more black. This is kind of like a sparkly look to it. But clean looking design in terms of the arms. Let's take a look at the back. So much going on. Just look at all that textured and material to it. The shoulder piece, the sticks out of the pointy shoulder piece. The back, that all that detail in the back. Again, fantastic looking, man. Ridiculously good looking figure. Bicep again, artic artic articulate. There's a shoulder piece again. Really good looking figure, man. Really good looking figure. Take a look at the torso. Really good torso articulation. And again, just look at that. Look at all that paint job. Come on, why is my camera being a little picky today? Uh, there we go. So we can pick it up. Look at all that detail right there. All that blemish right there. I mean, that blemish. The detail, the paint job, the light blue. 
looks so so good man fantastic job on the upper body i gotta say the upper body looks amazing for 25 dollars. come on you have to admit this is a very detailed sculptured figure especially the head sculpture looks really cool i can only i can see this one maybe people are taking this one off and put it in a ghost rider figure and just painting it a little bit the flames obviously like orange and like reds that would look so cool with that face come on that will look so good man i gotta say the upper body looks fantastic articulation is good the head is not the best articulation but it's still it's, it's passable but the arm articulation is good torso is good but the sculpture on the head and everything else just looks fantastic arm is probably the weakest but again this is so good man wow this is really good now let's get to, we get a look at everything else so take a look at the leg articulation good knees wow they're very stiff very very stiff but they do articulate and ankles articulate and then of course the toes leg articula I mean leg articulation sculpture right there the paint very good I do like that silver to it it looks very good it's even on the back as well too in terms of the leg sculpture very defined very muscular legs he does not skip leg day in terms of the actual knee pads or, th or shin pads again it has that kind of glitter look to it I don't know if you guys can pick it up right there that gloss glitter look to it but again it looks clean not much going on to it unfortunately but it's still a good looking and in the feet are just very plain but I gotta say though this is a fantastic looking figure holy crap it looks really good this is a such a good looking figure man it just looks menacing man and I gotta say though wow this is a good look the head sculpture come on just look at the head sculpture look at that that don't tell me that don't look dope that looks really really good and of course the main question is is it worth your purchase 100 percent highly highly recommend getting this figure fantastic figure articulation is good sculpture is good paint job is good again i can't fault him this is i i think in my opinion in terms of figure of the year this might be up there because again look at all that detail especially the head very good detail man and i really dig it and i highly 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 recommend getting this figure fantastic figure thumbs up for me let me know what you guys think do you guys agree with me on this figure do you plan on purchasing this figure or did you really purchase this figure leave it in the comment section below as always make sure you hit the subscribe button to not support the channel but to keep up today and watch videos like this so includes an overview of death from the blackest night build a figure wave and on to the next one